This rose is an internationally recognized symbol of love and of life. On behalf of the Knights of Columbus, St. John's River Council 10850, and the St. Joseph's Respect Life Committee, please accept this rose as an expression of our admiration for you, for saying yes to life, and for welcoming your child, one of God's most precious miracles, into your family. May God bless you and your family today, and always, thank you. I'm Father Dan Cody, pastor of St. Joseph's Catholic Church, and I have the proud honor to be pastor of a parish that has not only 5,000 families, but also has an outstanding Knights of Columbus organization. And I'm privileged to say that I have been a member of the Knights of Columbus, fourth degree, for about 29, 30 years. So I'm proud today to, day to uh, say thank you to the Knights for everything that they have done, and proud especially for the fact that we have taken upon ourselves this uh, additional asset of baptism, where now the um, Knights of Columbus are presenting to moms and to dads special mementos on the occasion of their baptism of their baby. And of course, this would be a good parish to do this since we approximately have 200 um, baptisms every year. So I, I'm proud, I'm honored to uh, say thank you, Knights of Columbus, and thank you to the men who have done a, such a wonderful job here with the Knights of Columbus at St. Joseph's. Hello, my name is Bobby Broach. I'm a member of the Knights of Columbus here in Jacksonville, Florida, Council 10850 at St. Joseph's Church. We would like to share with you an idea that became reality in every baptism that takes place in our church. For many years, our council has presented the mothers of the baptized child with a white rose as we recite a prepared statement thanking them for choosing life. We always thought something was missing. We also knew that the father's just as important in the child's life, but often not recognized. We as Catholic gentlemen want to recognize the fathers as well, but we're not sure how to incorporate it. That was until we located the new section of the Supreme Knights of Columbus new website, Fathers for Good, and the brochure that's called Embracing Fatherhood. After reviewing concept and purposes of the fantastic site, we knew we had the tools we needed to make a simple presentation to the fathers with maximum impact. We brought this idea to our church pastor and fellow Sir Knight, Father Dan Cody, and he immediately thought that we should do this as soon as possible. So now at every baptism, after the roses are presented to the moms, we now present the fathers with the brochure Embracing Fatherhood, along with the lapel pin, the cross with the rose. This can be found in the Knights catalog. This baptism presentation has been very well received by both the moms and dads. So we at Council 10850 in Jacksonville, Florida, thought we should share this idea with our Supreme Council to share with all our Knights of Columbus Councils. In today's confused world, we need to recognize the mothers and fathers that are willing to not follow others, but follow God's word. May God bless them all. Father is the foundation of the Christian family. The Knights of Columbus would like to bless you fathers today by presenting to you this pin of the cross and the rose, a rich symbol of the dedication that you have made to raising your child in the faith. God bless. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm very happy to be a member of St. Joseph's Catholic Church. We're a very active par parish, and what I really like about it is all the active ministries that we have in our church, especially the Knights of Columbus. I was real excited at our last baptism. The Knights of Columbus um, presented me with a cross with a rose on it. Um, it was really nice having the recognition for, um, for a father um, at a baptism. I know the mother gets a lot of attention most of the time, but you know fathers are important too. And so I was kind of excited that the Knights made a point of um, giving me something special.
for me to have for that special day when my son was baptized. I want to spend a minute talking about the website Fathers for Good. I was real interested to kind of peruse through it. Um, I, I really enjoyed all the facts that were presented on it. Um, I'd always had a sneaking suspicion that this society really didn't value fathers as they should. Um, and they were definitely confirmed when I read some of the articles on, on the website. Um, I think the society should place a little more emphasis on fathers um, and, the, and the role that they have within the Catholic family. Um, I also really enjoyed the resources of being able to read things that help me be a better father. Um, I'm real interested in pursuing that aspect of my life and it's really the most important thing I do other than being a husband and, and, a, and a good Catholic. So um, it was real interesting to have resources available to me in that way. So I'm very thankful to the Knights for putting together such a great program um, and a great website that I, I will use over and over and over again.